composers and welcome to the composing cook. Let's make some carrot cake muffin, shall we? All right, to begin with, in my mixing bowl, I have two large eggs and I need to mix them with my whisk. Beat it. If you don't have one of these, just use one of your handheld hand manual hand things. things. You know what I mean, yeah. Just beat until light and fluffy. Perfect. All right. To my bowl, I'm going to add vegetable oil, throw that in. Pecans, which I have roughly chopped, that goes in as well. Carrot, which I have grated. Light brown soft sugar and Zoltanas, that can all go in. Give that a mix. So as you can see, this has been mixed nicely which is exactly what you're looking for. Now we need to add the dry mixture to this. All right, in my bowl here, I've got self-raising flour, bicarbonate of soda, um, a pinch of salt, some ground mixed spice, some ground cinnamon, and some... You can't nutmeg. remember. Ah, oh, there we go, nutmeg. Freshly grated nutmeg, yeah? All you have to do with this is get the sieve and sieve it in from a great height. Uh, <laughs> the higher the better. Uh -huh. You can even get a chair and stand on a chair, yeah? Perfect. All you have to do now is mix that in again. So when you're mixing, just, just mix it gently. And while we're here, my fellow composers, don't forget, if you're enjoying my videos, to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button. I should also mention that all the ingredients are listed in the description section below as well. I've made it as easy for you as possible. Okay? Oh, aren't you a gent? Aren't I just? Thank you. And that is your mixture. Now what I have here is a muffin tin, and I have obviously put 12 muffin cases in there. All I have to do is transfer this mixture into there. Look at that. Right, we need to stick this in a preheated oven. Mine's a fan assisted oven, so 180. If yours isn't, probably about 190. So I will see you when these are done. Bye. Are they ready? They are ready. <gasps> it took 22 minutes in my oven, okay? So you are looking at anything between 20 to 25 minutes for them to wow. be Wow. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh my God. So let me just close the oven. You know when they're ready, because if you just tap the top slightly, they bounce back. You see that? That's perfect. That's what you want. All right? That's what I want. Lovely. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave them in the, um, the tin for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to transfer them to a wire rack and let them cool completely. And then we will add the cream cheese topping. Topping! See you shortly. Bye-bye. Bye. So they have cooled nicely. And by all means, if you want, you can eat them just like this. You don't have to do the cream cheese topping, but come on. Be rude not to. Exactly. It is literally the icing on the muffin, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so to make the cream cheese uh, topping, what I have in my processor is icing sugar, cream cheese, the zest of an orange, uh, vanilla, extract and butter. All I have to do is whiz it up. So let's do it. Done. Simple. Look at that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So let's just get two spoons and start putting the mixture on top. Mm -mm -mm. Take it all in. I will be in a minute. I think we need to try one. What do you think, Aaron? Well, I'm going to be having one in a minute. <laughs> Let's take this one and have a look, shall we? <laughs> um...
Come on. Come on. You know you want to, right? You know you want to. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. Such a pig. <laughs> These are amazing. You have to make them. Mm. Make them. Enjoy them. And you will love them. Mwah!